I love this one. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, Bolo Buddies, in this video, we are gonna talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. In this video, I'm gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. These are bolos from resellers that are in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. If you're not in my Facebook group, come join it. There's a link down below in my link tree, over 100,000 members, and anybody can share to have their bolo featured. Now this is gonna be fun. There's a whole bunch of videos this month, so stay tuned for more. And let's get started here with the first big money bolo. So she says, I also purchased this Fitz and Floyd nativity at an estate sale for $5 and sold it for $139.99. So one recommendation I have is, if you see Fitz and Floyd, look it up. There's a lot of big money bolos made by Fitz and Floyd. But this is a, is it a puzzle? Is that what she said? No, it's a nativity. <laughs> I thought it was an actual puzzle. Doesn't it look like a puzzle box? All right. So it's an actual nativity, guys. And sold it for $139.99. There you go. Let's see there. Oh, it's adorable. I wonder what it's made of. Is it porcelain you think, or is it paper mache? I think it's porcelain. I want to see the bottom. A lot of times they will say, oh, look, um, the person that had it before labeled uh, the box. So they knew how to put it back in. That's so funny. Have you guys ever bought something to resell, taken it out for pictures, and then could not get it back in the styrofoam? <laughs> um, I have. So to me, that's priceless. All right, here we go. Disney Store Winnie the Pooh uh, musical. Let's see. Winnie the Pooh's kite musical double snow globe two tiers song box. She said, I bought this item on the last day of an estate sale for $5. I took an offer the same day for $110 plus shipping. My eBay store is Facts and Fictions. Thank you. All right. Awesome. So it is a snow globe. So this is great because it looks like she has the original box, which probably has the styrofoam in it to keep it safe. One thing that's really difficult to do is ship snow globes without the original packaging. If anybody has any tips or tricks, I don't know where the pictures went. Uh, tips or trip, tips or tricks for packaging snow globes, let us know down in the comments. I know I've seen people buy like a block of styrofoam and cut it out. And I know American Bubble Boy has the, um, the stuff that goes and foams around. I can't think of what it's called, but I have a referral link for American Bubble Boy down below. And if you go, it's called something and it will foam around your item and keep it from shifting inside the um, packaging, which is really great for really delicate and breakables, expensive, delicate breakables. You probably wouldn't want to buy something like that for something that's inexpensive because then uh, you would lose the money that you have in the cost of the packaging material. But if it's a big money bolo, it may be worth it to protect it. All right, let's look at the next one here. Oh, and American Bubble Boy also has bubble wrap. That's where I get my bubble wrap. So if you need bubble wrap, that link is my referral link. It's down below. I appreciate it when you guys use those referral links. It helps me keep the channel going. So thank you so much. If you need to stock up, use that link down below. Even if you have a Bubble Boy account already, if you use my link, I will get credit. So I appreciate that. All right, this is a Baccarat. <laughs> Probably said that wrong. Noel Snowman with a star. Beautiful piece of crystal signed with a box. It says, bought at my local Goodwill for a dollar. Still in the box with paper. Sold for asking price of $129.99. And it has the original box. So again, anything with the original box makes it great for shipping. There you have it. The next item is a Pez. Are you guys ready for this? I do have a video on Pez that sell for big money. It's an older video. If you type in Bolo Buddies Pez, it'll pull it up. Um, I would double check to make sure those items are still selling for big money. They probably are probably, they probably probably are selling for bigger money because that was, oh gosh, probably three years ago that I did that video. 
and they were going for crazy money then. So they're probably worth even more now. But this one, she said she got it in an estate sale. She did pay $34.50 for it. And she sold it for $300 plus shipping on a best offer. Sold within a few hours of listing. Oh my goodness, a few hours of listing. That probably means that it would have been a fantastic auction item. So what I always say is if you cannot find any more or you have the only one listed, start the item at an auction, start it high. So let's say she wanted to get 300 for this item. Start your auction at 300 and just see where it goes. You have nothing to lose. You can relist the item at a buy it now. Nobody else has this listed. It is worth a shot. Um, her eBay store is right here. I'm not sure how to say that. Taj My Halls. Taj My Halls. That's kind of cute. There you have it. Congratulations on an awesome sale. All right. The next one picked. Oh boy. Another fun thing. You guys, would you want to ship this lava lamp? No way. No way. Picked this up at a garage sale this summer. Had vintage written all over it. So was going to grab it regardless. But the dollar price tag made it so much sweeter until you had to ship it. <laughs> so tips for shipping. Let us know in the comments. Vintage lava lamp, gold brass base, red lava works. Now it is cool. It's an old lava lamp, guys. But nightmare to ship. And maybe I'm just a chicken. But that looks scary to me. Um, what did they sell it for? It must have sold for the $149.99 because they did not say. So a dollar into almost $150. And this one comes from Lightspeed Collectibles on eBay. All right, here we go. Sold this Department 56 Halloween ghostly carousel for $199.95. Paid $6.99 at the Goodwill Bins and sold in three weeks. The outer sleeve was not on it when I found it. I found that later buried deeper in the bend. So I opened the styrofoam. My jaw completely dropped. I knew exactly what this was from watching reselling videos. This was my first fi time finding a Department 56 Halloween item. Oh, that is so awesome. So I don't know if you guys have ever shopped the bends, but you know, you, you find something and you're like, oh man, and you put it in your cart and you hope you find the rest of it. Well, that's what happened. And this is, wow. Look at that, you guys. He even got the box. Get out of town. That is fantastic. So $199.95. That's great. Congratulations. All right. Working Guitar Hero Xbox. I'm sorry, Guitar Hero 5. Xbox 360 Wireless Controller Band Hero White. Red and White. Found this Guitar Hero 5 Xbox 360 at the Goodwill Benz. Probably paid three or four. Sold within two hours of listing for $99.50 plus shipping. eBay store North Sam. So this is another item that I would not want to ship and I would leave it behind. Another reason I leave these behind is because I don't know if they work. And number two, I don't know which ones are valuable and which ones are not. So if any of you out there no, like a golden rule for these ones are valuable. These ones are not. Let us know down in the comments because I know nothing about these. I know I wouldn't want to test it and I wouldn't want to ship it. So this would be a hard pass for me, but I know tons of people do amazing with items just like this. And that's money I'm missing out on because I'm a chicken. So let me know, are you a chicken in the comments? The next item also comes from North Sam 17. Rainbow High Cheer Dolls, Lot of Five, Jade Poppy, Sunny Ruby, and Skylar. And they are pre-owned. So these are the Rainbow High Dolls. <laughs> I love the poses. All right. Found these Rainbow High Cheerleading Dolls at the Goodwill for $5.99. Sold for $69.50. One of them was missing an arm. So I left that one out of the lot and sold it separately for $16.95. So he even had one that was missing an arm and it still sold for $16.95. Okay, this is a phase 10 game. Got it at the Goodwill Benz, paid less than a, than a dollar. It is brand new sealed and sold in 10 minutes for $49.95. This is also from North Sam 17. All right, so it looks like, I don't know if it's vintage or not, but it had a $3 tag on it. Hey, you know what? I leave those tags on too. If you can't get them off, you can't get them off. Nobody cares. 
They don't care. They just want the game. All right. That is a great profit. Oops. All right. I love this one. Uh, Nina's Jewels, uh, also on YouTube as Nina Nina's Jewels. They have awesome reseller content, so be sure to check them out. And they always find really cool things like this. These are soda pop advertising doorknobs, handles, you know, like what? Have you ever seen such a thing? Like who finds this? 1940s to 1950s. They're ceramic. She said, found at a garage sale and paid $5 for both. $5. Sold on auction for $142.50. Yes, I definitely would have auctioned those also. Those are amazing. Wow. Wow. I mean, I, I'd want to keep them. I don't know what I would do with them. I guess put them on my door. <laughs> That'd look ridiculous on my door. Anyway, check out Nina's Jewels. They're fantastic. Here's another one from Nina's Jewels. We found this wireless microphone body pack in a grab bag at a thrift store for $2.25. $2.25, that is. It sold for $75 on best offer. And um, I'm not really sure what it is. A wireless microphone. Yeah, see, I would have picked that up and been like, huh? But maybe, you know, I might have looked it up because all the information is right there. Usually there's some sort of number on the back that helps you uh, look things up with your phone. Here's another item that they sold. OEM. That looks like my carpet. They have the same carpet as me. <laughs> Toyota Tundra Platinum Black Carpet Floor Mats. I found these Toyota Tundra Floor Mats at a church rummage sale for $6. They sold on best offer for $80 plus shipping. Fire was all in for a hundred. And this also comes from Nina's Jewels. Ugg Women's Red Customizable Bailey Bow Mini Ribbon Boots. Customizable. What does that mean? Purchased these Ugg boots at the Goodwill for $19.99. I had them listed for several months and received quite a few offers in the 90s, but I held out. They sold on eBay for $145 plus shipping. Although I miscalculated the shipping and ended up having to pay more, I'm still in the profit of $99. And this comes from eBay store Jiffy Thrifty LLC. I wonder what customizable means. Hmm. Let's see. It says it on the box. Maybe that's all. I cannot believe 20 bucks. That's a great deal. Great deal for new in the box. Nice find. All right. Oh, I missed one. Oh, I missed two. <laughs> okay, hold on. I'll see if I can find them. Uh, Walt Disney Company rare goofy head shaped canvas tote bag with condition issues. It said, I found this Disney Company goofy head tote bag at the Goodwill bins for less than $2. I was in a hurry that day and didn't bother to really look at stuff closely before purchasing. After checking it out later at home, I realized it had what appeared to be a few small chew holes in the bottom of the bag. I almost threw it away, but after doing research, I knew it could also be a bolo. So I took a chance and put it on a seven-day auction on eBay with a starting bid of $10. It sold for $61 plus buyer paid shipping, eBay store, Creations ETC. And there you go, guys. Even with condition issues, sold for $61. All right. So I missed a couple because they commented after their comments. So I didn't catch it when I was uh, pulling up the tabs. So I will put those two in the next video. So stay tuned for those. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Head over to my Bolo Buddies Facebook group and join. It's under my link tree down below, over 100,000 members, and you guys can share one of your big money bolos. I also have big money plush, and I just listed one that says, share your best bolo with a cool story. So, you know, something fun that happened when you found the item, like it was hiding under something, or I don't know, just something fun. Um, or you got it for a dollar and it sold for a million, just something super exciting. So it can be further back than December. It can be like November, as long as you have a sold link. So go share a bolo and hopefully I'll see it in a post, a future post, so I can share it in a video. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and 
Thanks for watching.